plant and my eggplant are getting huge. They've grown quite a bit in the past three or four weeks since I've gotten them. So I'm rather happy. I hope they continue to do well out there. You know, I was so nervous that there wasn't gonna be enough sunlight there, but I think they get the perfect amount for what they need. I'm hopeful, we'll see. Hopefully they continue to grow. And I have one little baby tomato coming along. I don't know if I'm gonna get more, fingers crossed. And who knows, maybe I'll get some eggplant too, but at least they're healthy and happy. That's that's all that matters, right? I just like children, right? <laughs> um, so yeah, and the parsley is doing really well, and I'm really enjoying having that on salads and stuff. So um, yeah, it's going really well thus far. But anyways, check out what came to my P.O. box, you guys. It's so pretty. It's a pineapple. Isn't it gorgeous? It has uh, like a nice gold top on it. Oops. I think it came from Amazon. So thank you to whomever sent that to me. I really appreciate it. It's very pretty and it matches my um, Yes Style dishcloth, which I really am enjoying. These are nice and soft. I christened one this morning with a little dribble of coffee, of course. Um, Toto's got the, Totoro's got the, the tears of of caffeine dripping down his face. <sighs> caffeine sweat st stains. <laughs> so last night I did, um, I've been doing these Aveeno repairing Sika foot masks. They're so much fun, you guys. They're, um, I mean, you could honestly just get some Aveeno um, eczema therapy balm or something and slather it on your feet and put socks on. It's really not that substantially different, but they're convenient um, and they're really nice. They have these like little plastic booties and you just incubate your feet in them for about 10 minutes and uh, you, you want to make sure your feet are clean and dry before you put them on. But uh, they're really nice. They have uh, colloidal oat in them and uh, shea butter. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can basically just slather moisturizer on your feet, but it's nice to have that occlusion of the of the plastic little booty. But yeah, the foot masks are really nice. I, I think you'll enjoy them, and the hand masks are really good too. The ones with uh, the brightening ones that have soy in them, those I think offer a little bit more punch than the foot masks. The foot masks are nice, but like you could just kind of redo that with, you could just kind of do that with moisturizer. Anyways, today I think we're gonna go to the library because I finished Purity by Jonathan Franzen and for those of you who are Jonathan Franzen fans like myself, I was disappointed in it. It just was not as good as his books typically are. In fact, it was kind of boring and I almost didn't finish it, but I did because it was so boring. <laughs> But his writing, he does a really, he's really funny. He's got really witty, witty writing. So even though the story was kind of boring, I'm still enjoying it enough to go through it. But yeah, I, um, aside from Dune, I haven't been having good luck lately with books. I don't know what it is. I feel like I haven't, Dune was the last good book that I read. Um, so I'm hopeful that it'll pick up. Um, I'll get a good one today, we'll see. Yeah, so the eggplant is doing really well. Hopefully it puts out fruit. Uh, that would be really fun. But I think when I first got it, it was about this tall. And now, now it's grown quite a bit. Same with the tomato. See the little tomato in there? <laughs> um, and for those of you who are asking, yes, I have fertilized these. They're happy. My little um, uh, moisture meter, where'd it go? Let me get it. Yeah, I just keep it in the box. Uh, to protect the probe, but this is my um, soil tester. It's been really convenient for gauging the the moisture in the pot, so I don't overwater it. And I think you can get a more fancy one that that tells you the pH. Uh, I was assuming this was the pH, but it's just kind of a numeric indication of the moistness. Uh, but yeah, they do have pH sensitive ones that allow you to test the soil quality. Um, so I just kind of aim for it to be right smack dab in the middle. Uh, I assume that's that's good. Um, they give you some guides here, but they don't list like tomato or eggplant, so I'm not sure. sure. Um, but yeah, this is really handy. Uh, I was on Amazon. My mom got this for me as a gift. She saw it on um, Holistic Habits. 
um, recommended it. Apparently Holistic Habits has quite the collection of house plants. Uh, so that's where my mom saw this. Yeah, boy. Hi, oh, hi Typey. Hi, oh, I missed you. <laughs> Mama tells me you have stickers and you you won't let us take them out. Yeah, those are I've I've accidentally stepped on those before and they're not pleasant. Tybee, come here. Good boy. Hi, little boy. Here at the library. It's a scorcher. <laughs> Boy, it's humid. Yeah, it's yeah. really humid. I feel like we could do the backstroke. Explore the unknown. Oh, I always loved these summer reading programs. They're so much fun. Oh, I just noticed this feature on the sign where they can slide this cage back and forth to yeah. indicate open or closed. That's I cool. Like that. I think it's clever. Yeah. That way you don't have to drive up and try and figure out if they're in there or not. What's that? There used to be a cow statue there. Yeah. Maybe she's getting a facelift. <laughs> On this book, The Interestings. Hopefully, it's interesting. What'd you get? I got a book that's totally. I have no. I have no expectations. It's called Like Success. Okay. <laughs> but it says that I hadn't heard of this author before. Uh -huh. But apparently, he's pretty written a few written books, award-winning things. So we'll see. Like Success. And then I got a vegan book. Simple Vegan by Good Housekeeping. Yeah. That looks good, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, that does summer? look good. Snap pea salad. Rice noodles with, with many herbs. herbs. <laughs> Came over to Subway today for lunch. Oh my. Cancel <laughs> my walk. I'm doing a spa day. Somebody would really eat that up. He loves his shower, his shower yeah, bath spa shower time. <laughs> um, he was so happy to see you when you came in. He is a sweet, sweet and enthusiastic. <laughs> Veggie sub. Yeah, we... Looks good. They did a good job stacking it. They did. It. it looks really... Did you have it toasted too? Yeah, I always get it toasted. Yeah. It's just uh, spinach, cucumber, lettuce, tomato, bell pepper. Uh, cucumber, oregano, spicy mustard, and black pepper. Ah, it's really good. The two sandwiches total is like $5. It's pretty inexpensive. <laughs>
mom's house. She actually went to run an errand. I'm just having a um, little hot chocolate. It's uh, one tablespoon of Hershey's dark chocolate um, cocoa, just the cocoa powder, so no sugar, and about a quarter of a cup of uh, almond milk heated up in the microwave, two stevia packets, and then you just mix it into the heated up almond milk and add boiling water. So it makes a no sugar, a little hot chocolatey drink. But yeah, I'm just uh, kind of chilling out here and doing my coloring. It's relaxing. I'm working on the coral right now. So yeah, and uh, I'll probably crack into my book in a little bit. And uh, I think I'm going to spend the rest of the day reading. So that's what's going on. But I think I'm going to conclude the vlog here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.